Sacroiliac joint dysfunction, or SI joint dysfunction, can lead to many symptoms including pain in the back, buttocks, and back of the thighs going down the leg. But before we talk about SI joint dysfunction, we have to understand what the sacroiliac joint actually is anatomically. The sacroiliac joint is the connection between the spine and the pelvis. The body's weight is carried to the bottom of the spine, which is the sacrum. The sacrum is also part of the pelvis and forms the pelvic ring. The weight of the body is carried from the sacrum to the ilium through the sacroiliac joint or the SI joint. We don't always know why, but the SI joint can become a source of pain. This can be one, after a trauma such as falling on your rear, two, from arthritis, building up and making it stiff, or three, it can be from the ligaments getting too loose and making it unstable. This is often mistaken for spine pain or sciatica. This pain commonly is worse with sitting or standing in one place or getting in and out of the car. Patients may also feel unstable in the pelvis. Often, the only relief is by lying down. SI joint dysfunction can be diagnosed by a good history and a variety of physical exam tests designed to stress the SI joint. Additionally, it's important to rule out other sources of pain, such as spinal stenosis. Unfortunately, there's not a good imaging test for the SI joint pain the way there is for the spine with MRI or CT scans. However, the best diagnostic test for the SI joint is to inject the joint under CAT scan guidance with numbing medication and some steroids, and then test the numbing effect on the joint. If the numbing medication numbs the pain for the rest of the day, even while doing activities that normally make it hurt, then we know it is the right source of the pain. Once you have a clear diagnosis, we can treat your SI joint pain with a variety of non-surgical options. We typically start with SI joint specific physical therapy, but it really must be specific to the SI joint because generic back pain exercises may actually make the SI joint pain worse. Sometimes an SI joint belt or brace can help to stabilize the joint if it feels loose. We may also consider additional x-ray guided injections, which can be helpful and have a lasting effect. If your unique case needs further treatment, we would consider alternative medicine treatments such as chiropractic manipulations, acupuncture, and prolotherapy, which can sometimes be very helpful. Many injection specialists can also perform radiofrequency ablation to essentially burn the sensory nerves going to the SI joint to block the pain sensation. This can provide a lasting benefit as well. Overall, we have many successful non-surgical options to treat the SI joint dysfunction. We always consider these options before looking at surgery and personalized treatment plans that will alleviate SI joint pain for our patients. If they're not successful, then surgical fusion may be an option.